Oxford Reading Tree Stage Five. Where next? Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichta. It was a rainy afternoon. Let's play a board game," said Lee. "Can you keep a secret?" asked Skipper. "We have something more exciting than a board game. It's a magic key." In Biff's room, Skipper showed Lee the magic key. "It can take us anywhere," said Biff. Could it take us to the land of dinosaurs? Asked Lee. Yes, Kipper said. We could slide down a dinosaur's neck while it eats leaves. But not all dinosaurs ate leaves, said Chip. Some of them ate meat. I didn't think of that, said Kipper. The key did not glow. Biff picked up the key. I wish it would take us to a big football match next. I could score the winning goal in the last minute, she said. But what if you missed the shot? Asked Kipper. Biff thought about this. Maybe I need to practice a bit more first, she said. The key still did not glow. What about you, Chip? Asked Skipper. I'd go to a spaceship heading for the stars, answered Chip. But you might be old before you reach any, Biff said. The key still had not glowed. Are you sure it's magic? Asked Lee. Yes, said Biff. You just never know when it will work. The children decided to play a board game after all. They went downstairs. Floppy was left alone in Biff's room. Only he saw the key begin to glow. The magic took him into the little house in the corner of the room. Floppy went to the best place ever for dogs. There were parks to run in. There were sticks to fetch and cats to run after. The key started to glow again. Before he went home, Floppy grabbed a huge bone for himself. The children had finished their game. It wasn't a magic adventure, but it was fun," said Chip. Floppy came into the room. He was carrying a little bone in his mouth. Where have you been, Floppy? Asked Biff. I wonder where he got that bone. Sadly, the end.